Hey, what is up, Nintendo Chris and 10555? Welcome to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we defeated Jasmine with a little bit of trouble, and Feraligator and Frostella evolved. So, thank you so Wait, did I just seriously do my outro after my intro? Really? Well, in this episode, we are going to do the gym. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is, well, I should mention for this gym, you need to know strength. So, if you haven't got strength by now, go back to the lighthouse and go and grab it. Now, my main thing that I'm going to be doing for this gym is I'm going to need be using Frostella because Frostella will be like the most helpful out of the whole group because of confusion. Now, she, again, she's going to be the most useful because she's got confusion and that's super effective and as you can see, she's one-shotting basically every little thing. So, yeah, anyway, for this puzzle, oh god, what were it now? I think it was, I think it was that, that. And then there. Boom. Nice. Woohoo! My raging face will shut your Pokemon! Okay then, Kung Fu guy. Cause I'm a Kung Fu ninja. Yes, you heard me right. Oh no. Anyway, so... Frostella's actually basically owning, like, everyone's faces. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we're on to the next gym now already. Wahaha! So you've come this far. Let me tell you though, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stone and shatter bones. Watch this. Yeah. We are. Holy hell! Choke Norris right here. The skin now are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon. That's true. Come on, we shall do battle. Wow. Choke Norris is in Pokemon Crystal. Who would have thought it? <laughs> anyway, so Nick, we're gonna be doing later Chuck. So, first off, I'm going to send out a primate. Now, this one I don't really consider to be a gym, to be honest. I mean, granted, yes, it is a gym, but I honestly don't consider it to be a gym because, for one, it has two Pokemon, and two, it's a very minor place, should I say. So, honestly, I just don't consider it to be much of a gym. And as you can see, also, it's pretty easy because I took out all these Pokemon out within four moves, is it? Yeah. So, I didn't have much trouble there. So, wow, hurt. I lost. How about that? You're worthy of Storm Badge. And we get free grand for winning. So, honestly, I don't really consider this to be much of a gym because, like, what time is it now? Like, what, three minutes in, maybe? Um, we've already beaten this gym. So, yeah. Anyway, so we get Team 01 as well. And that is the Dynamite. Dynamite? Yeah, Dynamite Punch. Dynamic Punch. It doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. I don't always hit. But when I do, I can't remember what TM said. <laughs> All right, but what time are we even at this recording? Yeah, just as I said, three minutes in and already we're beating the gym. So just as I mentioned, that is a really easy gym. So I wouldn't like stress out if I were you. Anyway, so if we talk to this girl, is it? Chuck the gym leader spares with his fighting Pokemon. Nope, that's not it. Talk to her. You crossed the sea to get here? That must have been hard. It would have been much easier if you Pokemon knew fly. That's Cinnamon Woods Gym Badge. I mean, you should take this HM. And we get HMO2 Fly. Now, if you haven't defeated Chuck, you will not be able to get this, but when you defeat Chuck, you can have Fly. So, I don't know. I probably should have done this gym before doing Jasmine because, well, it would have been easier for me to do, but I wanted like the counter to be in order. So yeah, but anyway, Woody can finally get a flying move. So we're going to get rid of Charm because I've got Growl if I really want it. <laughs> but So what we're going to do now is Woody is going to fly all the way to... Where are we going to fly to? We're going to fly to Ecrity. So let's watch this, shall we? Woohoo! That was fun. Alright, oh yeah, I forgot. I don't need a heal because apparently my Pokemon got healed, which I didn't actually realise at the end of the last episode where all my Pokemon got healed. I never even realised that. Is that in Pokemon Crystal? Because I never remembered that. And I swear something happens here. Oh wait, no, I think it's like gold where this happens, where someone will come like running up to you and just like move you out of the way. Ah, I think that will hide gold actually then. Ah, okay. Alright. So, if we go down here, I believe it's here first. Ah, oh, 
you know what? I've just realised something. There's still something to do on that island. God dang it, I forgot about that. So, ah, oh, god dang it. Alright, so if we come, not there. If we come up here, look who it is. It's one of the legendary dogs. We're ready for battle. Wait, apparently not. You seen? Yo, Thomas! Wasn't that Suicune just now? I only caught a quick glimpse of it. I thought I saw Suicune running on the right. Wait, Suicune is beautiful and blah blah blah. blah. I'm gay for Suicune. Alright, anyway, so we're gonna send out Drowls. And I think we'll just use Dizzy Punch because I think that's all it can really do. Uh, next off is Electro. We'll just, again, we'll just keep using Dizzy Punch, I mean, because confusion and yeah. And last off is Heart, and now we're gonna use Psychic Move and boom. You're dead. You die. Alright, so now we're gonna fly back to where I was, so yeah. Give me just a second just to get back to where I was. Alright, and I'm back. So as you can see now, Suicune is now down there. So let's just go ahead and. Ah, uh, why do you not like me no more, Suicune? Why do you not like me in the first place? Actually, now I think about it. And we'll get some Afrikaans here, so if we want to make a Pokeball, we can go ahead. So, yeah. Alright, so we got a Super Potion here, very nice, I will definitely take that. And yeah. Hello, look at this fat guy. Fat guy. Now, I forgot to mention. Well, I was just about to forget to mention. If you talk to this guy in battling, eventually he'll hook you a Water Stone. So, if you have a Pokemon that can evolve via Waterstone, go ahead and talk to that guy. But as I don't, I am not going to bother. Or at least wait until, like, the episode's done. And then I'll fight him. Because I'm still going ahead and fighting off the trainers off camera. Um, I still need to get Rocky some training, and Woody could use a bit of training as well now that I think about it. Um, but these are some pretty weak Pokemon, not going to lie. Um, I don't know why it's so weak. Uh, I don't know why, actually. Hmm. Okay. Not that I'm complaining, I mean, it's a bit easier for me. But Frostella's definitely gotten a lot of training. Wait a minute. Frostella is seriously the strongest member of the party. Are you for real? Oh my god, she's actually the strongest member of the party. That is pretty funny, actually, not gonna lie. Um, Alright then, so I guess it'll be Woody then. I'm going to have to do everyone some training because everyone's levels are starting to get scattered. So I'm going to have to do that. So welcome to Mahogany Town. So this place, I haven't really got too much right off the bat, but there is something you are going to want to do because I believe if you miss it now, you're not going to be able to do it. So, hey fat boy, I want to get to the gym. Since you came this far, take the time to do some sightseeing. You should head off and check out the later race right now. What? Todd. I do not give a damn god alright so what you want to do is right off the bat talk to this guy hi kid I see you're new in mahogany since you're new here you should try a yummy rage candy bar right now it can be yours for just $300 you want to get this trust me now you can only get one of them wait can you oh wait now you can get as many as you want but you're gonna want to get at least one and keep it. Trust me on that. Trust me. So yeah, anyway, so let's go into here, shall we? And talk to this guy. Hmm. A slow poke tail. Very tasty, sell high. Very tasty, sell high. Please come again. I think he actually said something. Welcome, how many help you? No? Okay. What did you say? <laughs> the experiment worked like a charm. Magic cat are just worthless, but Gyarados are big money makers. Hmm. Very suspicious. I wonder what's going on. Well, let's go here, shall we? Alright. So I said, why don't we check out the Lake of Rage? So, we're going to do that. Now, what, you want to, what you're going to want to do is take this path. Now, trust me on that. Because if you go through the door, which is basically right next to it, then... Team Rocket's going to be there and they will steal 1,000 Poké Dollars. So that's a way to avoid getting money stolen from you. But the funny thing is actually, if you don't have any money on you, they'll just let you in for free. They'll be like, oh we can see that you got no money. 
Well, why not? We'll let you in this time. But next time we won't be so generous. Um, if I remember, I might show on screen that actually happening, but I don't know. Um, but I want to show it off and I'll explain maybe. But anyway, so as we are now at the Lake of Rage, we're going to end this episode off. So, there's a Gyarados there. Nice. So, in the next episode of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, we will... We will do something. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you next episode. Bye for now.